Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone over a highway? So let's get started. You may have seen drone photos or video that appear as though the drone is flying over a highway. So is that allowed? Well, I know that in some cases it appears that way because of camera angle or zoom functionality. But let's talk about the rules around flying over a highway. 14 CFR part 107.39 titled Operations Over Human Beings is the rule that covers flying a small unmanned aircraft over people and vehicles. 107.39 states, no person may operate a small unmanned aircraft over a human being unless A, that human being is directly participating in the operation of the small unmanned aircraft, B, that human being is located under a covered structure or inside a stationary vehicle that can provide reasonable protection from a falling small unmanned aircraft, or the operation meets the requirements of at least one of the operational categories specified in subpart D of this part. We'll talk about subpart D in a minute, but the important item as it relates to flying over a highway is item B and the statement that flying a drone is only allowed over a stationary vehicle that can provide reasonable protection from a falling small unmanned aircraft. Very simply, if a vehicle is moving, you cannot fly your drone over it. That's what this regulation says. Now I've heard comments that it's okay to transit over people or moving vehicles. I believe these comments come from a section of subpart D, which includes the limitations on operations over human beings. That's part 107.105. So let's clarify these limitations. 107.105 says that if you can't meet item A or B of part 107.39, you might still be allowed to fly over people or moving vehicles if your operation meets the requirements of category one, which means that you have a drone that's less than 250 grams with propeller guards installed. Or category two, which means you have a drone that won't transfer more than 11 foot pounds of kinetic energy upon impact. And that drone has to be listed on the FAA Declaration of Compliance website. It has to comply with the rest of the regulation. Category three, which means you have a drone that won't transfer more than 25 foot-pounds of kinetic energy upon impact and that drone also has to be on the declaration of compliance website or category four which means you have a drone that has an airworthiness certificate and you have an established maintenance program at the time of this video there's one drone that meets category three requirements the ag eagle ebx which is a lightweight mapping drone for large coverage areas this is not a drone that most people use. There are no drones that meet category two or four, and the only drones that meet category one are very small drones, mostly FPV type drones. Also under subpart D is part 107.145 titled Operations Over Moving Vehicles. This part states that no person may operate a small unmanned aircraft over a human being located inside a moving vehicle unless the following conditions are met. The operation is conducted under category one, two, three, or four, and for category one, which is the only category that most drone pilots might be able to qualify for, your drone must remain within or over a closed or restricted access site. And all human beings must be on notice that a small unmanned aircraft may fly over them, or the drone must not maintain sustained flight over moving vehicles. I think this is where th there's some confusion. It's okay to transit over moving vehicles, but only if you're operating under one of these categories. This does not say that all operations can transit over vehicles. So can you fly your drone over a highway? No, you can't, unless you have a drone that is less than 250 grams with propeller guards installed, and only if you're transiting. This meets the requirements of category one. However, the FAA recently revised the waiver requirements for operations over people and moving vehicles. If you have a drone that is 399 grams or less with prop guards installed, an anti-collision light, even during the day, 
and functioning remote ID capability or remote ID broadcast module. If you have a drone that meets these requirements, you may be able to get a waiver to operate over people and moving vehicles. A pro tip, if you have a drone that weighs more than 250 grams, but less than 399 grams with prop guards and an anti-collision light installed, like the DJI Mini series, apply for an operational waiver through the FAA's Drone Zone website. Keep in mind that the FAA's goal is safety, so think about your operation in terms of safety and include anything that will help show that the operation will be safe. Let us know in the comments if you have a can I fly my drone question so that we can cover it in a future video. Also hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be notified of upcoming content. Thanks for watching and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you soon.